Welcome back. It is a science experiment straight from the land of Oz. Chemical Kim is here with a fun voice-changing experiment. We're playing with helium today, Kim. And we should mention, Sophie, your lovely assistant is here. Yes, I brought my daughter, Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Thanks for joining us on Take 5. I love it. Every yeah. kid plays with helium, right? That's right. That's right. And, of course, the big excitement is, you know, either, whoa, letting the balloon go, or, of course, the inhale. But just, Sophie and I are first going to demonstrate what helium looks like, right, Sophie? Okay, so I have a tank here full of helium, and I'm going to fill up this bottle with helium. Okay. And when I fill it up, Sophie is going to help out by putting the cap on it. Ready, Sophie? Because I want to blow the air out and make oh, sure so that all the air is out, right? Okay, good. And so it's full. Now, Sophie, does it look like there's anything in the bottle? Nope. Nothing at all, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Do you think that there's anything in there? No. So yeah. how would you say, what does helium look like? What does it look like to you? Clear. Clear and colorless, right? Okay. Are you sure there's nothing in the bottle, Sophie? <laughs> what happened to my voice? It um, went higher. It went higher. And so what we're going to have is Catherine explain to us what are some of the properties of yes. helium that we can, we, you know, we can say helium is the second lightest element on the periodic table. It's element yes. number two. And there's a few facts that, he, that Catherine's going okay. to share with us. What? Well, i got to do this. <laughs> helium is the second most abundant element in the universe, but it's not the most abundant element in the Earth's atmosphere. <laughs> That's right. Oh, this is great. Isn't that fun? This is a career enhancement. <laughs> exactly. Okay. And then when, when you inhale the helium, your voice goes higher because yes. it's lighter than air. Oh, so it right. actually is making my voice. Right, so the vibrations are going yeah. faster through helium than yes. it would through oxygen and nitrogen. So that's why your voice goes higher. And yes, it's fun, but you don't want to do it too many times because your body does need <laughs> oxygen. So yes. when kids do this, of course, you want to be very cautious not to do it too abundantly, maybe one or two times. It's and not bad for you. No, to no, it's inert. The it's an inert gas good. is non-reactive, which is really fun. A really good. fun activity, though, that, that Sophie and I are going to show you is to play around with how much mass or weight does it take to just suspend balloons filled with helium. Yeah. And this is fun for kids because you can, you know, use different things, different objects, light objects like pennies. And Sophie's going to help, help me out here. The first thing that uh, we did is just put together, a, you know, a set of five helium balloons. Balloons. Yes. And then we took a really simple Ziploc bag, right, Sophie? Yep. And what else did we do to the bag? We uh, punched a hole in it. Right. And then what does that allow us to do? Tie the balloons. Okay. So I'm going to do that. And then Sophie's going to count out. She's just going to guess and count out how many pennies she thinks. Because this one, this one right here has how many pennies in it Does it? Th did we put in there? Do you remember? Eleven. Eleven pennies. Okay. So we're going to put eleven pennies into this bag. So count out eleven pennies there, Sophie. And then we're going to stick it into the bag and see, you know, will, will it levitate, you know, cause the balloon to either float or sink. What do you think, Sophie? <laughs> Stick it in there. Okay. Get 11. And that one sank. <laughs> it just blew so off. So here we guys. go. And of course you can play around. And you can even take the weight or the, the mass of your, of your pennies. Yes. Now there's 11. If we take, take one out, Sophie. And what's, you could also do our like balloon races across the room. And see that? Look how yeah. it, 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 it does still, you know, rise and fall. Or you could even try and push it across the room with that elevation. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, you know, compare the amount of balloons to the mass that you're putting in there. And then play around with putting more balloons together. Do you think you could put enough balloons, Sophie, to elevate you, to lift you up? Like that movie yeah. up. Like yeah. the like movie, the movie up, up, right? Yeah. Now, another interesting observation for kids that I love is look at all these balloons we have here, right? Yes. All these together. Hi, Sophie, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Okay, we have <laughs> you completely covered. But all those balloons came from this tank, and I could fill out up even more. How is that possible? Is the volume of those balloons, Sophie, greater than the volume of this? Yes, yes, yeah, that's right, yes. that's right, Catherine. <laughs> and that is because this is a you know, good lesson on pressure, that gases can be pushed together. And so we can push helium close together, put a lot in there, and then it wants to expand inside the size of the volume of the balloon. No so. end to the fun that you can have with helium. You can find more activities, though, from Chemical Cam. It's all at WZZM13.com on the Take 5 homepage. And that's lots of fun with helium there, Catherine. <laughs> sure is.